Hello everyone, I've got one word for you today and that's knickers. So I'm going to show you how to make a pair of knickers out of our jersey. As you can see here, there are different types of elastic that you can put on. There's the lace, there's the flat elastic, there's fold over elastic, you can, if you can see that there's a little line missing there and that does exactly what it says on the packet and that's fold over. This is the Fico edged elastic which is what I'm going to use today and this comes in two sizes 9mm and 13mm I like to use the smaller one on the leg and the wider one on the waist you can because it's jersey put these up together on your overlocker but there's not really much point because the only seam you've got is your side seam everything else is done on your machine now you can there's two there's another way you can do it you can use a zigzag using your ordinary cotton but what I've used here is the Maraflex which is this and it's a gutterman and it's been developed solely for use with jersey for people that haven't got a, an overlocker and even if you have got an overlocker you want to hem and do your sleeves and not everybody's got um, a cover stitch machine and you don't always want to zigzag round your neck or round your hem so we're going to use the Maraflex today and I'm going to show you now how to use a pair of pants to make your pants so this is ordinary pattern paper there are different ways of making pants this is the way I like to do it because I don't want too many seams here. If we cut it in one piece, we're already eliminating bulk. So you get your piece of pattern paper, which is obviously a square. Get a pair of your favourite pants, lay them on top. You're just going to draw around them, as is. You're only allowing a seam allowance on the sides. Every, everywhere else, you're just going to do as is. Remember that you've got your fold there, so don't cut your fold. When you've cut your back, then you can either pin that up or just move it out of the way and take your front one off. So what you're left with is this piece. Now on this piece, you're going to mark for your gusset, which if you see what I've done here that's your front so just draw a little line where that seam is and then draw a little line where your back one is so this is my gusset and what I did I just put the piece of paper underneath and drew around it so you're going to want one of those and one of those we're just going to pin this piece onto here and put our gusset here. Now I've worked out that from 60 centimetres of plain jersey you will get three pairs of pants and whichever elastic you're going to use they'll work out roughly between three and four pounds a pair. We've got this pinned now we're going to cut it out all in one piece remember we've got our we've added our seam allowance on gusset flat you can see where it's going to fit just turn that edge under lay it flat put yourself a couple of pins in you can see why I don't want any more seams than I have to have because we don't want this being too bulky there that's that same on this side You can actually use um, just plain cotton if you want to on, on the gusset, it's entirely up to you. So we'll take that over to the machine. So here we are, we've got, we're all threaded up with Maraflex 
and it's not you can see how it's wavy it's not boingy boingy elastic it just it just moves with it so I have moved the stitch length up to number three I'm going to do a little back stitch and go straight across that gusset line the thing about jersey as well obviously it doesn't fray same on this side it is hanging over and that's because I've turned it under we'll just trim that off afterwards so we're back at the table now we've done our gusset we just need to trim that down each side so now we've got the elastic we're just going to measure it up the leg and then you're going to reduce that by about an inch and a quarter so that's going to be the length of our leg we want two of those one per leg so we're going to put the elastic on now right sides together you see the right side has got the ridges in so we're going right side together I'm going to put a pin halfway through with that elastic and I'm going to just find the halfway point there which is there just so that I can even the elastic out as I'm sewing it so that's the middle part And then this is the other end. There's not much point really in doing more than that, but you could put one in the middle. So you're just going to slightly stretch it to fit. Then we're going to go over to the machine and stitch this in place just on an ordinary running stitch. So we're ready to go. Just going to do a little back stitch there. So we're going to hold it on that pin and just let it lay on top like that. Just slightly easing it to fit. As you approach that pin you can take it out, I'm just going to hold that there, take that one out. Just keeping your edges together. Coming up to that pin. I've got one, still got my halfway marker in. So now I'm going to keep hold of this pin. We're just easing it along. To the next one. Just keeping those edges together. So that's our right sides together. We can see it's the right side because of the gusset. Now we're just going to fold that back. You can either press it or just hold it with your fingers. So we're going to start up at this end. You can see that stitching is fabulous on the Maraflex. You don't need anything else except that. So you're just going to fold it over, go back under, and just come straight down again with that edging 
and do a line of stitching all the way down. Just letting it fold over. It's a little bit thicker here because you've got the gusset, but all the way to the end. We've done both legs, as we can see. Now we're just going to join one side seam. You can see it doesn't fray this, you'll be fine. So I'm just going to join that side seam and then we're going to measure the wider elastic for the waistband. Okay, so we've joined that one of the side seams. As you see, it's not going to fray and it's not going to go anywhere. We're going to measure the elastic just like we did with the leg. Da -da -da. We're not pulling anything, we're just letting it roll. And then about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half shorter. And the middle we know what the middle is that is because we've got our seam so again like we did before right sides together going to sew that as we did on the leg right sides together then turn up So now we've got our elastic turned over and stitched, we've, all we've got to do now is this side seam. If you put your pin far away from it, you don't have to take it out when you're sewing, it'll just keep it in place, keep your elastic lined up on your legs. And as we did before, everyone. See you next time.